I don't know why that just hit me like that, dude. Gosh, got right in my bones. Heck yeah. All right. Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Ace and Ninja here today, my dudes, for something brand new for your faces. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this content. No, I am. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to do some Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu Wi Fi battles. It's going to be a good time. Hope you guys are enjoying it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start looking for an opponent while we're talking about what's going on. Now, first things first. This game is very... It doesn't have rules, okay? Let's just put it that way. Very few rules. People don't really abide by them. Um, so it's it's kind of a it's kind of a free for all. So whether or not we're gonna get good content here, um, very very unsure what our outcome is gonna be. I'm not a player. Um, but pretty much what we're gonna be doing here, uh, after this episode at least, because I haven't officially said anything to anyone. But um, after this episode, I'd like to start doing, uh, can like with viewers or with people challenging me and I'd like to try and do something where you guys can challenge me on discord or Twitter that would be fantastic all I have to do is at me on Twitter and say hey I challenge you to a let's go Pikachu Wi-Fi battle or you know at me on on discord on or on Twitter I said at you get the point um, just ask just ask for a battle on discord or Twitter and I think it would be a really fun way of being able to bring content to you guys on Wednesdays when we don't have our um, verses going on and after the verse is done we'll put versus it's done we'll probably continue this for, for a little while until I get a new series lined up anyway I think it'll be fun for you guys and for me but pretty much it's just Wi-Fi battles uh, now you guys may, may or may not know this there are no abilities let me just let me let me get into this battle let me get into this battle before I start explaining everything because I'm gonna run out of time what is your lead I'm looking at your team and I'm not seeing an, an obvious lead. I'm thinking maybe Aerodactyl or Venomoth for realsies. Either way, I don't have anything super good for dealing with that. I'm thinking Aerodactyl or Venomoth, and I think I'm just going to lead with Articuno. Because Articuno is not doing much in this battle if it's not taking on that Venomoth. Otherwise, it's just not doing much. Well, that's going to be a Mega Venusaur. Anyway, all right, I'm confirming. I'm confirming. I'm nervous, but I'm confirming. So there's no there's no abilities. Uh, when you do normal rules, which I decided to do normal rules for this battle, um, there's no EVs or anything like that. So this is just base Pokemon, level 50 all, doing the darn thing. And I think it's going to be a fun time. Where'd you get that bow on his tail? I'm curious where that bow came from. I want to see. I want to get that bow. I did predict correctly. Now the question is this thing, he just does he just want to go for a rock type move? Just do the rock type move. Or does he want to try and set up? Expecting me to want to swap out here. This 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 is already the mind game's beginning. I know that he probably wants to get stealth rocks up, but he might be more tempted to just go for a rock slide right now. I think it's going to be more time to just go for a rock slide, but I'm still going to stay in a quick ice beam. He does. He just stays in and goes for rock slide. It's fair. That was a fair play. I did predict that and then played against it anyway. Articuno wasn't going to be able to do anything without with um with this battle, I don't think anyway though. Not really. That rock slide definitely hurt though. Although he now does not have anything set up. So we might be, we might still be in a fairly comfortable position just because he doesn't have anything set up. And I can easily rock slide this Articuno. What wants to come into a rock slide? Snorlax, probably. Snorlax, probably. It's still not going to appreciate the rock slide though, so I'm just going to go for it. Yep. Yep, there's that Snorlax. It's still not going to appreciate the Rock Slide. It's going to eat it up fairly well. But it's a little bit of chip damage, and I can never get mad about that. What does he want to go for? Yawn, maybe? 
Does he have Zen Headbutt? Does he does he gonna is he gonna predict me going out into him on Lee? Actually, Zen Headbutt would be a decent play all around. I'm just gonna play to what's in front of me and click Earthquake. It's a 2-8 KO. Ice Beam. Yikes. But he outspeed, and I have Earthquake, and he knows that. And Earthquake KOs the Snorlax. So does he go into Aerodactyl expecting... Or does he do something else here? He could do something else here. Aerodactyl's is only immunity. Aerodactyl's is only immunity. Do I outspeed Aerodactyl? I don't think so. I want to click Rock Slide again. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go the mid. No. Because I don't think I don't think Outrage kills. I'm going for Earthquake. Hey, I did not overpredict myself into a into a corner. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I did not overpredict into a corner. That's fantastic. I like how the match timer is right above my head, just barely. It really it fits up there. You guys can see it. Alright, Starmie's gonna want to go for an attack pretty clearly, pretty obviously. It's I'm I'm expecting a Scald. And I kinda wanna go into Blastoise. But I also kinda don't. Cause it could just go for a Thunderbolt expecting the swap. But why would he expect me to go into Blastoise? He still outspeeds me and hits that Thunderbolt though, so it doesn't really matter. I think my best swap in here is Snorlax. Yeah, look at that Spadef. Yeah. Like a four hit KO. Does he swap here? I'm gonna go for Yawn. That way this thing has to go away if it's gonna if it's gonna do anything. It has to go away. I'm gonna click Body Slam. I'm forcing you to swap out. So I can get a free Body Slam on something. And pray, cross your fingers for the paralysis. I didn't feel very good, did it, Venusaur? I should have gone for Yawn again. Force this Venusaur out. Or, or to go to sleep. That would actually have been super pro, going for yawn, and forcing it, forcing it out, or to fall asleep. Those were, those would have been his options. Oh, he puts me to sleep. I think a sleep powder. Jeez, I would not have, I would not have expected that. I would not have expected that. I've never really known Venusaur to be a sleeper. But I guess anything's possible. I want to bring Needle King back out. And go for the Mega Horn. Because that would so kill this, this Venusaur. And it would also would do... He earthquaked me on the swap. Did he predict that? There's no way he predicted. 
There's no way he just pulled out that prediction out of his butt. I think he expected Arcanine, but got a free kill on Needle King. I don't think Arcanine kills though. That's the thing. I actually don't think it kills. KOs. I don't think it KOs. I can pretty freely go for a Mega Kick, I think. I'm an Earthquake this time. Get out of here, Venusaur. Now he brings in Aerodactyl. Should be able to wing attack pretty easily. Or star you. Either one. Psychic would do the thing too. Star me. Star you? Star me. Star me. Psychic would do the thing as well. That's for sure. What else can Hitmonlee do in this battle? Earthquake the Muck. That's that's what else he does. He Earthquakes the Muck. Snorlax would be really great to keep around. But he's sleeping. And that kinda that kinda hurts more than anything. I don't I don't think Snorlax is here to do the thing. He's sleeping. He's not doing much. He's sleeping. I think I think we'll just send him in. I'm going to click Body Slam on the off chance I wake up, but I highly doubt it. Oh no, I just get KO'd by that Surf. It's definitely not choice though, because there's no items. So if I bring in Blastoise, I still risk a potential Thunderbolt. I'm going to Mega Protect and just see what happens. See what he wants to send my way. Is it redundant to have Dark Pulse and Flash Cannon? I guess not really. It does indeed have Thunderbolt, which does scare me. I think I still have to stay in and go for Dark Pulse. Just pray I live this somehow. From full HP, no EVs. Okay, that only does a half. Body out speeds, right? And I don't know. Do I live another one? Maybe with a low roll. And luck. Nope. That was a high roll. Lovely. Lovely. I love I love losing to RNG. It's the best. Lose, losing to RNG is the best way to lose. This guy's probably looking at this this name and thinking, what the heck? What is that name? Why is that name? I would be thinking, what is that name and why is that name? Yikes. But I defeat the Starmie. Now he just sends in Aerodactyl and wins. Or he sends in Muck. I think he still wins no matter what. But whatever. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just hit you with this big flare blitz. Do as much damage as possible. There's no items, so there's no recovery. Which makes it very difficult. It really does. I'm learning though. I'm learning. I'm figuring it out. And eventually we'll we won't be using our Let's Play team and we'll have like a properly built 
team with good synergy and working together and all that stuff. Eventually that'll happen. I'm gonna earthquake this thing. It knows I have earthquake. He knows I have earthquake and he still has Aerodactyl on the back. And I'm pretty sure Aerodactyl outspeeds me and just KOs. Actually it doesn't have abilities. And it doesn't, I don't know. It may not KO. I really don't know. Venomoth, does Venomoth die to an earthquake? I know it takes damage. Oh, it outspeeds and he has two Pokemon with Sleep Powder. He has two Sleep Powder Pokemon. I think there's a very slim chance I could have won this if he didn't have Sleep Powder on two Pokemon. He's gonna Quiver Dance up. Okay. It's very unnecessary. I have one Pokemon left. Very, very unnecessary. I have one Pokemon. Like, just, just knock it out. Yikes, that did nothing. Does he Quiver Dance again, or does he keep spamming Bug Buzz? There's the question. That's a Psychic. I, there's nothing I could have done! There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do about that. Let's quit the Link battle. Oh boy. He was so salty about his victory. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this one up here. One battle, 15 minute battle, 17 minute battle, give or take a few minutes maybe, I don't know. Um, so if you guys have suggestions of Pokemon we should get leveled up, I know Muck is a, is a really big Pokemon in this current meta uh, of, of Let's Go. I know Muck does a lot of things, um, it's, as well as, it, you know, he's, he's a big check to Mew and Mewtwo, which is something you see very common here on the Wi-Fi battle. Um, ladder you know random battles but um since i'm gonna be battling you guys hopefully we won't have to deal with mews and mewtwo's and you'll have bring fun interesting teams um and it won't just be it won't just be mega mewtwo's spamming close combats and psychics because that would suck that'd be the bad videos you guys don't want that you don't want bad videos um but yeah so if you guys are interested in a battle let me know via twitter or um discord i will be away this coming actually the week you're seeing this i am at the lake with my family so um hopefully we're having a good time and i'm gonna be bringing my switch with me and doing some training uh some pokemon grinding getting things leveled up doing stuff with my pokemon uh hopefully we'll be able to stream the end of the game as you guys see we're here at the lead four and we haven't actually finished the game yet as of recording this video uh, hopefully i will have already streamed and finished the game and that way I'll be able to do all that stuff off screen and get my team leveled up and do all that stuff interesting without having to hold anyone up with progress of the videos. Anyway, with that, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like button down below. As always, helps out a lot. Subscribe if you guys are indeed new around here. And share this video with your friends. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.